Hey guys, and welcome to the Vibe View. Hopefully, you guys are all doing well. In this particular video, this is going to be the fan cam of said Amab that is in with me, uh, as you can see. Um, and um, yeah, big up to everyone. Thank you for the constant support. Um, without further ado, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check us out on the socials above. Check Amad out this way. And um, yeah, man. Without further ado, go ahead, bro. What a game. That's the way I'm going to start it. But, yeah, I was surprised we played very good against the Stuttgart team. That I think heading into this game, I don't know if they still are third place. Like, I don't know if they're still there, but heading into it, they were third. Uh, yeah, man, I mean, I think we played great, but... We played gr help scoring the early goal helped us a lot. Which, by the way, well, Nubel, Nubel's their keeper, right? Nubel, if you're going to play like this at my club, I don't want you near it, please. Oh, my days. They may have made some saves afterwards, but I don't want to see. That's like watching Unana for United. I I'm good, bro. I I'm fucking good. No, I'm serious, bro. Like, make make a bunch of saves, and you're gonna make up have a bunch of blunders at the same time. I am fantastically good, yeah. Uh, but yeah, not anyways. Nice from Sane to get away from Noble there, and Ken scores. Uh, I have to say, I was very impressed with uh the midfielders that played, and I know, yeah, granted they played because of uh, uh what you call it. The, the sickness of Kimmich and Goretzka, both of them. But I I like how Guerrero gets out of situations. Like, he just he gets the ball, and then he, he dribbles his way out, and then he progresses play. Uh, with Pavlos, it's a little bit different, but he also progresses play by moving the ball forward, passing it forward more often. I actually, You know what? I actually think Pavlovich was one of our best, one of the best players today. Right, he was he was absolutely fantastic. This kid looked like he wanted to actually take that spot away from Kimmich and Goretzka. So, fair play to the lad. I hope he just gets well taken care of so he can be a better player going forward. Uh, who else we could? Talk? I thought Musial on the wing. You see why I ask you to put him on the wing while Muller plays attacking midfield. Look what we got today, man. You know what I'm saying? And by the way, Sane, I don't want to say Sane played bad, but I want to say that Sane was pretty selfish in moments. Not even going to lie to you. There were moments where he could have passed. The, there was one, for example, this one really annoyed me. He could have uh, passed the ball to Davies on the left, but he decided to shoot when there's like three two or three defenders in front of him, and then Noble saves it. Like, okay, I got through the defense, but Noble saved it anyway. Like, you may as well just pass it and play it safe, you know? So, if Davey scores, he scores. If he doesn't score, he don't score. Like, it's one of them ones. Uh, Kim and Jay scored one that was offside and the other that wasn't offside. In my opinion, two were not offside. <laughs> Meaning... That one that was given offside was never an offside. The guy next to him was literally in line with him. Dumb call from the ref. Uh, Muller's goal was also offside off a noble mistake. That one, I agree, is offside. It was given offside. I agree that was given offside. Uh, by the way, Muller had a fantastic game. L linking up play, moving. I guess the pressing game today was unbelievable. Fair play to them. Uh, and Muller was a key part in that. Uh, who else? I was really uh impressed with the defense, and I mean, the defense mainly Kim Min Jae. That guy was a monster among men in every single situation. Forget the goals, that man was a beast all game, hands down. Upamecano done pretty good as well. Davies done well till he got injured. Uh, Limer was pretty okay. I won't say Limer was great. He was all right. He 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 moved. He overlapped pretty decently. He made more progressive passes. He didn't 
overly this is the problem with Limer usually he overly panics oh, you the ball. I don't know if you noticed this but I appreciate his hard work though Neuer and goal was pretty good in some moments but he didn't really have much to do like there were some moments he had to do something but otherwise he didn't have much to do and Stuttgart disappointed me in a, in a way I thought they were gonna come in uh, all guns blazing they chose not to do that so just one of them ones, really. And Kane, uh, I'm not going to forget about Harry Kane. That brother, I'm sorry. Man got two goals. But yet again, why is this man still being put in midfield, bro? Why? 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 Imagine a scenario with Kane in the box every single time. Man would be getting hat-tricks and super hat-tricks. I don't know. I mean, I'm grateful that he's scoring two goals while he's put in that situation. The fact that he's doing that is commendable. Like, it's a reason to why some strikers shouldn't be even, you know, getting slack being cut. They should be getting the slack. You know what I'm saying? If you watch Premier League, you know and you know. But, damn, man. That is absolutely unreal from Kane. Uh, Did I miss anything else other than that? The subs, Tell came in for Sane. Great. Uh... Kratzik came in for Davies because Davies got injured. I thought Kratzik, I mean, he came in late. There's nothing much he really did because Davies got injured very late. True promoting, the statue came on. Who did he Who did he come on for? Did Pavlovich get subbed off? Uh, I remember Guerrero got subbed, I think. Maybe Pav. I don't know now. I'm going to um... check on my phone, you know. Chupa Moting, come on. Yeah, he did, he did. But who did he come on for? Oh, Chupa Moting came on for Muller, Kratzer for Davis. Oh, Musiala went off for Tell. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mixed up, I mixed up. Musiala went off for... Uh, wait, so Sane stayed on the pitch? My days, bro. I'm mixing it up. My apologize, people. Musiala went to... Uh, 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 Sane should have been subbed off. There you go. He was, he was the worst one out of them all. Um, uh, but I don't, yeah, Musiala off, Muller off, Moting on, and uh, Tell on. I mean, Tell, Tell, you didn't come on for long, neither did Moting. But man, whenever Moting's on the pitch, nothing much really happens in attack. I, I'm sorry, and when he gets in front of goal, he misses nowadays. He's not like last season. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it, uh, Moting's confidence is down in front of goal because of Kane being played. I don't know. I felt like last season he had more of a point to prove because he had the opportunity and he took it. But, yeah, otherwise, it's just another one of them. And also him being attacking mid is not really going to do him any favors, in my opinion. He should be a striker. Like His his body is built to be a striker, not to be attacking midfield and creating chance. So, yeah, that's on Tuchel again. But otherwise, I think that's it from me. Yeah. Um, did you say your man of the match? Oh, yeah, I did. I, I was asked this on stream and I said, I'll prepare for this. Kim and Jay. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah someone said Pavlovich, but the reason why I'm giving it to Kim and Jay, the defensive performance and the goal, he could have had two goals, but he had one. But he, and that one, by the way, was deflected, but we, we take that. And like I forgot to mention Kane's goal, the second one as well. Who assisted the second goal? For I don't even remember. Some guy assisted it, like, but it was a header. Pavlovich, right? Was it Pavlovich? I think it was. Oh no, no, Pavlovich whips it in, and then it comes from somebody else's head. So they headed it. Yeah, in, yeah, 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 yeah. Pavlovich assisted Kim and Jay's the two goals supposedly. By the way, Pavlovich's corners are spectacular. Mm. He's got I really good delivery for a young lad. Yeah, man. Hey, maybe we need to let him. You know what? We need to consider playing Pavlovich and Kimmich together. Yeah, that's what I'm starting to think. What do you think? Yeah, I, I want him to play on Wednesday. I think what we should try because let's be honest, Kimmich, Goretzka, Kimmich, Pavlovich. Uh, you play. You're basically playing eight next to each. It don't matter. So what you could tr- try, talk to you know. You put a world class midfielder next to Pavlovich and see how that goes, man. 
It shouldn't 100%. be a recipe for disaster. If you put him next to Goretzka, then maybe it's... Uh, but he likes to kill me. Give it a shot. That's my opinion about it anyway. But... You're not going to see me disagreeing, man. Like, it's just, I don't see it happening. You know what he's like? He's stubborn. Yeah, I know. But yeah, Kim and Jim out of the match. Uh, he was a monster among men. He got the goals. Yeah, 100%. Or he got um, one goal counted, but yeah. Yeah. You get the point. Yeah, no, with that guy, I'm with you on that one. Um, I think that's it. If you guys have enjoyed, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, all that good stuff. Check out Ahmad as always. Check out all the socials above my head. And um, yeah, man, until then, me asam me my people. Peace out. And um, Ahmad will be here tomorrow. Uh, and then I'll do video when I get back. So yeah, thank you so much. Come on, Bayern. We just need to keep this consistency now. See you later, guys.